Oh, FFA has played a role in the lives of many, including our farm families and leaders around Illinois. That's right, and WCI3's ag reporter Stu Ellis takes a look in the, to this connection in this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. When you meet young leaders in FFA, you realize they're building a future for success. First, there's Stephanie Porter of Taylorville, who is a leader in her Nokomis FFA chapter and has become the soybean product manager for Syngenta. I think that it just comes down to my roots and how I was raised on a farm and I found out, was lucky enough to find out at a younger age what I really, really loved to do and that was agriculture. Her FFA advisor, Randy Meyer, helped focus that. So we can show them many of things that they can do, go to take them to conventions, conferences, and leadership camp, and go to things to just open up their eyes. They have an opportunity to do so many things if they would just uh, take advantage of the opportunities that they are given. Consider what Jerry Thomas of Charleston and FFA have done for his sons. I, I got them each a tra antique tractor to pull, and so it was a family event. That led son Justin to the top proficiency award given out by the National FFA for tractor restoration. What I enjoy the most about it is taking something that's an old rusty heap and turning it into something that's new and fresh again. I mean, once you get done with that and that thing fires up for the first time, I mean, that's pretty rewarding. So. But their most special tractor was built to raise money for FFA. So we redid the motor and fixed a bunch of seals and such on it and gave it a custom paint job and decals and it's been a very popular tractor. McLean County farmer John Sheets welcomes his kids interest in, in farming and FFA. Because I love going out uh, to the farm and helping my dad and my grandpa and I love showing pigs. Uh, probably the main part for me is, is the 4-H and the FFA part is, is what it does for the family. The family community uh, has just been outstanding and they meet some amazing, amazing people that uh, I know in my life are still some of my best friends and I would assume at some point we'll continue to be some of their best friends many years from now. That's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.